Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. We are pleased to be joined by Kiffin Simpson, of course, of TJ Speed Motorsports in the Indy Light Series. And of, co- of course, if you miss if you missed today's big announcement, of course, he is now a Chip Ganassi Racing development driver. Uh, of course, they will provide driver development and technical support to uh, um, Kiffin's entry in the Indy Light Series, as well as driver development help. How's it going? It's going good. I'm excited to be here. So how exciting is today was today's announcement to get that out there? I don't know how long you guys, you guys have worked on that, but uh, it was pretty massive. Yeah, it, it's pretty big. I'm super excited about it. Obviously, Chip Ganassi Racing is a huge team in IndyCar and a very well-known team in IndyCar. So I'm super excited to be a part of their, uh, their program. So what exact, how did this kind of deal get put together? Um, I was able to meet uh, Mike a couple of years ago, Mike Hull. Um, I was able to meet him a couple of years ago when I first started racing through a uh, common friend. And um, then earlier this year at Daytona, I was able to meet Chip, um, Chip Ganassi at Daytona. And um, from there, we talked about my career and my ambitions and where Chip Ganassi Racing was headed in the next couple of years. And uh, yeah, that's how this came around. So going into um, this, the rest of the season, I know you're doing, you're doing pretty well in Indy Lights right now. Um, talk about how, how this season has been for you. Uh, the start of the season was a little tough, but uh, we've brought it, we've done a great job at Barber. We got fifth, um, but I feel like we had better pace than, uh, then we ended there. We were a little bit tough in the race, but we were quick in quality. So I was happy with it. And I'm very comfortable here at Indy. So I'm looking forward to this race. So this is a track that you know pretty well. Um, so what is that going to be like to, you know, you've obviously tested there, you've raced there. Now with all, with all, with the, with the big news now with this morning, What's that going to do? How much confidence is that going to bring you this weekend? A lot of confidence. I mean, I was confident coming here anyways because we had the Chris Griffiths test last year where I felt like I performed performed well. And uh, we've had a test here since then as well, and I felt like I did well there as well. Um, so I also did well here in Indy Pro last year. So I'm looking forward to a good weekend and working with the new team yeah okay so you you're a new kind well you're kind of a new fit but we we know we know a lot about you because you've you you've won a championship in 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 formula regional america like i think i'm saying that right yeah last year what was that like uh that was very different to the indy lights car um it was it was an interesting series. It was, um, the cars is more what I'm talking about. The cars feel very different to, uh, the Indy lights car, but it was my first time driving with real downforce. So, um, I felt like I adapted to it well and, um, I was able to do well in that series and then making the step to Indy lights just seemed like it made a lot of sense. So you're also, you're also a, um, for a lot of people, for a lot of people who do not know about a lot about you, you're actually a dual natural, a born dual born citizen from two countries. How about that? Yeah, yeah, I'm American and uh, and Barbadian. So, kind of explain um, what 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 was that like coming from two different places? I know you race here in America, but you're also from another country. Kind of uh, what 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 is it like over in Barbadia? Um. Barbados is awesome. I mean, I've lived on an island my whole life. I lived in Barbados for until I was 12. And then for the last five years, I've been living in Cayman. And uh, Barbados is an awesome place. It's got, uh, there's a track there. So that's where I first learned go-karting. And uh, then I just started racing up here in America. What was that like, you know, coming coming here to America, what was that like for you to um, experience racing here? It was very different. Um, racing in Barbados was uh, very much at the club level. There weren't 
many people that were racing. Um, I had a good friend that was that pushed me and was quite good. So uh, we we had good battles, but when I got up here, it was a whole different thing. And the people that race up here are completely they they race a lot different, and they're much better. All right. Well, since you're kind of a new driver, might as well just get to know you a little bit. How about that? Yeah. Um, so. So I'm going to ask you a bunch of getting to know questions. Um, so do you have any racing superstitions? Uh, no, no, I don't really. Do you have like a pre-race? Okay. Do you have like a pre-race routine? Do you like, do you follow like a certain thing that you do? Is there a certain thing you do before every race or something like that? Not really. Uh, I know that a lot of people have their like warm up routines, like they go and they start doing reaction time or they start doing push ups or skipping or whatever to warm up. But I really just chill out before a race and I, I watch videos after the session before. So I am already debriefed on what I need to do. So it's just staying calm and focusing on what I need to need to do. do you, are you are you better focused before a race or are you better more? loose not thinking about it maybe that might help you um i tend to focus on races a lot and uh focus on what i'm doing and what i need to improve on each session um and also what changes we may make between sessions um and what that might change with the car um okay best racing memory you've had mm probably winning the fr america's championship last year yeah uh, Recent, yeah. But good. <laughs> yeah it was pretty good um, <laughs> you're also doing some sports car racing as well uh tell me how that's been going uh it's been going pretty good we've not had the greatest results but we've had great pace and i'm super happy with how that's going okay um do you, do you have a favorite outside of racing? Do you, what, what do you like to do? Uh, my favorite like pastime is probably kite surfing. Really? Yeah. I mean, you have a lot of that. I mean, here, I mean, when you live in Barbados, you have a. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kite surfing is a big thing in Cayman. So uh, I live there now and I, the wind is usually really good there through the off season, fortunately. So I get a lot of kite surfing done. So, best part about living on an island? Um, the beach is not far away. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. What is, okay, uh, last thing, name three things people may not know about you. Um, I raced for only three years in karting in america mm -hmm. um i i've been racing cars for two years now um and i've probably spent more time in america in the last two years than i have in Cayman. i mean that's true um Okay, so when you when you hear when you hear in America, you know everybody gets like there's all these other different things. Do you? I know you also you know race sports cars. Do you, have you ever wanted to try anything else? Um, I've tried uh, racing midgets before. Well, not racing, but I've tested midgets before. Um, one of my good friends, uh, he has, he has a midget team, so uh, I tried racing one of them in preparation for the ovals last year and uh that was quite fun and i've he says that i did quite well but i'm not i wasn't sure about it because uh it was something very different to me um so yeah that those midgets are quite fun they're lots of power and very light okay i gotta ask you how was the miami gp last week <laughs> the miami gp was very special it was a pretty awesome event um never been to an event that big before and uh it was awesome that it was formula one as well because it was my first formula one race so i really enjoyed myself there did you enjoy getting a picture with mick schumacher 
Yeah, yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, you, apparently you hung out hung out around in the uh, with the with the Hass team. Uh, what was that? What was that experience like for you? Yeah, it was super cool. I got to um, I got to go in their garage during practice sessions and qualifying, and I got a radio so I could listen to them on the radio. So that was really cool. Yeah, and of course, go. Uh, all right, let's finish this off. Going to Indy the Road Course this weekend. Got a race tomorrow. And then you got two races this coming weekend. Um, now with this uh, with this increased um, support from CGR, it's gonna, it could be a it could be a big weekend for you. Yeah, yeah, I'm super excited for it. I think that we're gonna perform well this weekend. All right, well, Giffen, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us, and uh, good luck this weekend at the Indy Road Course. Yeah, thank you for having me.